Hello everybody, this is Smiling Suncake, and this is your video game news for June 7th, 2010. Now, first off, this is going to be a new series I'm doing, like you kind of saw the uh, thing I did on Sonic Colors the other day. It's going to be um, just periodically when I see news that catches my eyes in the video game world. This is uh, mostly going to pertain to Nintendo Wii and uh, Nintendo products because that's what I pay attention to. But um, I'll post an update of what's going on in the video game world. So, first off on the show, um, an update on Sonic Colors. Uh, some new information has come out. Um, basically, the only new stuff with this game is that it, the Wii version of the game is going to be developed only by Sonic Team. And the DS version is going to be developed by Sonic Team and Imps. So, for me, I'm only going to be buying the Wii version. I don't have a DS, and, you know, that's just information, I guess, that if you wanted to see Dimps, because I know Dimps worked in uh, Sonic Unleashed, you're not going to see it. So, that might be good news for you, that might be bad news for you, but that's uh, just what's going on there. Um, another thing is they have, um, they have confirmed that there will be 2D gameplay. Like, they say that it almost might be primarily 2D gameplay which is uh, interesting, like they said, there would be a mix of some 3Ds exploring, but there would also be a good amount of 2Ds, so that's uh, that's interesting, we'll see how that works out. Um, that's about all there is on Sonic Colors, there will be, um, Nintendo Power is putting out a big preview in their June 8th issue, so tomorrow, so um, we'll see how that uh We'll see what they say, as well as n official Nintendo Magazine UK will have a big preview in their June 16th. So we will probably be seeing a lot of things about this and um, a lot coming up in E3. Which leads me to my next subject, which is E3 2010. Now, I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this, and this is kind of my uh, Nintendo update. Obviously, we're going to see stuff on Sonic Colors and Sonic 4 on the Sega side of thing, and Nintendo has a lot of things they could do with this event. Um, Zelda is obviously what everyone thinks about, because they will. You know they're going to display Zelda, it's just what they do with Zelda. And obviously we'd like to see some Motion Plus with that, and um, just we want them to wow us, as always. I mean, last year they showed new Super Mario Bros. Wii, and, you know, I'd like to see him do even more this year. Um, as far, I mean, Zelda would be the first thing, but there's also a possibility that we could see Pikmin 3. I would love to see them finally uh, get that out there. And, you know, I would also want to see, like, you know, a lot of classic remakes have been going on, and, you know, I've always been a fan of the Pilot Wings series, um, Star Fox, even, like, God, if... Uh, they could do stuff like that. That would be really cool. I mean, Pilot Wings, they already basically showed that in Wii Sports Resort. So, um, why not play, make a full-blown game on it? But, um, main thing is Zelda and Pikmin 3 for me, and I would like to see both of those hit hard at E3 for Nintendo. And, of course, there's always the talk for Nintendo about a new system. A uh, system's lifespan is about six years. That's usually the length that one system goes before it becomes next. So, the Wii's been out since 06, late 06, so we're, I mean, a lot of people are saying you'd see a new Nintendo system around 2012. I don't know, I mean, Nintendo's been very quiet about this, but, you know, there's a chance, a very slim chance, I don't think they'll do this, but there is a chance that they'll unveil some kind of Wii HD, or, um, yeah, that's Wii HD, Wii 2, or... Who knows, maybe they'll just come up with a whole new system, but I really don't see them ditching the Wii thing even in the next console, because it's been so successful that I don't think they'll ditch it, they'll just work off it. Kind of like a Nintendo, to, Nintendo Entertainment System to Super Nintendo, right? So that's kind of my predictions for E3, and we'll see what Nintendo can do. And lastly on the show is a personal favorite for me, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Um, I've already played through most of the game, and it's incredible. I'm just, I don't need to tell you, everyone else has told you already that Galaxy 2 is absolutely incredible. And, good news, it is topping the charts in Japan. That's right, 
Uh, it is reported to sell 340,000 units in its first week, which is 100,000 more than the first Mario Galaxy, which is great. And, you know, I think that the reason this big increase would have to go with marketing. They've done a lot more commercials, and um, they've also showed the whole family thing, so you might get families going out buying it, and um, and it's just... It's so incredible that I don't know why anyone with Wii wouldn't buy it, but, you know. So, we'll see. Now, New Super Mario Bros. Wii sold 900,000 units in its first week, but that was in December. So, you're talking Christmas time, you know, that's a little, that's obviously more than double than what Galaxy 2 sold, but I'd like to see this, you know, just have like a steady, a steady amount of, uh, of sales so that, you know, a great game like this should be rewarded with sales. I mean, you see crap like We Play or all the shovelware that they shovel out that gets all kinds of sales, and it's like, you know, Deca Sports, another terrible game that sold well, and we want to see Galaxy 2 sell well. So, you know, if you haven't bought it yet, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. You don't need me to tell you. So, that is your video game news for June 7, 2010. I'll be back um, probably after E3. I mean, if I hear anything uh, awesome real soon, then I'll let you guys know, but um, I'll definitely do an E3 show. So, that's it. Smiling Suncake is gone. I'll see you guys next time.